talk about minimum wage. So we fought for a minimum wage, a $15 minimum wage to be included um, in this bill. And in fact, on my side, on the House side, in the House of Representatives, $15 minimum wage was included um, in the bill. Now, the problem though is that, as you know, from Schoolhouse Rock, the bill has to pass, pass the House, then the bill has to pass the Senate, and then it has to be signed by the President. Now, if you pass a bill in the House, but uh, you know that same version, but a little bit different, gets passed in the Senate, then the House and the Senate need to meet in a process known as reconciliation. And then they have to meet together, and then they have to agree and both vote on the same exact legislative language. So what happened was that the House included a $15 minimum wage, and the Senate has a parliamentarian uh, that ruled on something known as the Byrd Rule, and the parliamentarian said, uh, according to the rules of the Senate, we can't include the $15 minimum wage in this reconciliation. Now, I called for Democrats to ignore the parliamentarian because you can do that. <laughs> and I think we should do everything possible to pass the $15 minimum wage. So to hell with the ruling, oh, I shouldn't say that, but um, just wave it away, who cares, include it and vote on it. What was the problem with that? The problem with that, and so our, our boy Bernie out in the Senate said, let's have a vote on it. And he called the Senate to the record to actually vote on moving past uh, the parliamentarian and including $15 minimum wage in the Senate. And what happened? Eight Senate Democrats voted to not include a $15 minimum wage in the Senate bill. Now, we're very thankful uh, to Senator Sanders for doing that because before he did that, people were trying to fight it without going on the record, okay? People were trying to fight the $15 minimum wage without putting their names on the fact that they were fighting against a $15 minimum wage because that's like really how a lot of politics works. I could, I could tell you the stories I could tell y'all about the lengths that people have gone to try to make sure that we didn't have a vote um, in certain procedural processes, I, I could tell you stories. Um, so at the, I mean, I could tell you stories, but here's one example of that. And so, uh, so those senators did not want to, I don't really think they wanted to vote and go on the record uh, because I don't think they want, they really wanted their states. They didn't want to do that. Um, and so Bernie kind of triggered this procedure that forced everybody to, uh, to vote on it. And we had eight senators uh, who voted no, eight Democratic senators who voted to not include that. I don't have all eight on top of us, but you know, if you were online this week, you probably saw um, a Democratic senator from Arizona vote no and everyone got really mad because of like the flourish with which they did it um but that that no vote was a no on including the 15 dollars provision and so what that has done is that it has shown um it, it's shown all of us it's you know added these names um and it's shown who are those eight people um, you can look them up. There's like tweets and stuff and I'm, I'm going to get names wrong when I'm doing it off the dome. Um, and so I think, um, sorry, sorry, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting a text. <laughs> um, so basically I think, um, what's going on is that like, we don't want to get these people on the record. They're on the record now. Uh, and so we've got some states to work on West Virginia. Arizona, Delaware, a um, couple others. I don't want to say, like, part of me wants to say, I'm like, maybe Maine, but I don't know. I, I don't want to say, uh, I don't want to um, 
say a state if they're not on the list. Um, but basically, um, you know, we have we now have a list of people, and now that's up to you as everyday people and organizers to hit up your senator if your senator did not vote on fifteen dollar minimum wage. You probably just Google it really quickly this week and um, and find out what that what that list is. And you should absolutely one hundred percent contact your senator and say why did you not vote to include a fifteen dollar minimum wage? Um, because it's really important. And, but I do want you all to know that we are not giving up on that fight. Uh, we are taking this directly to the Biden administration. And, you know, the Biden administration has said we're not giving up on a $15 minimum wage. And so then we're going to ask them, what's the plan? What's the plan? If not this, what's the plan? Because we're not letting this go. Um, this is the longest time that we have gone in U.S. history since the bill was, since a $15 wage was established, this is the longest we've gone without raising the wage. So this is ridiculous. 15 is the floor. People are saying, oh, will you accept $11? Okay. Will you accept $11? Do you know when people started fighting for a $15 minimum wage? Almost 10 years ago is when this fight started. People had deemed 15 to be the living wage back then, almost 10 years ago. So when you account for increases in, uh, in inflation, inflation alone, $11 is close to what 725 was back then. So no, I do not accept $11. I accept an actual tangible raise uh, for working people is what we need. And by the way, $15 is the compromise. People say, oh, progressives, oh, AOC, you know, porque you don't compromise. 15 is the compromise. 